Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. Another beautiful, blessed day today to always, always be in the praise of the Lord. And my brothers, my sisters, I just feel like this praising right now. I feel like rejoicing right now. I feel like this calling out God's name and saying, thank you today, Jesus. I want to say thank you for all my brothers today. I want to say thank you for all my sisters today. I want to say thank you for every boy and every girl today, what you're doing in our life right now today. Thank you for touching us today. Thank you for watching over us today. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for shielding us. Thank you for being our rock. Thank you for being our refuge. Thank you for being our salvation. This thank you for the day, God. This thank you because I don't know what it is about the day, but I am so thankful for today. I'm grateful. I'm so honored. I'm so blessed today just to be in your presence because I know that you're doing something amazing right now that myself, my brothers, my sisters, and every boy and girl right now can't even fathom what you're about to do to us, what you're about to bring to us. This is our year. This is our season for miracles and for healing, for for blessings and breakthroughs, for open doors, for us to receive our help, for us to receive our miracle. This is our year, my brothers and my sisters. This is our season right now. In 2018, not over with yet. So if you really, really believe in the miracles and promise of God, go and get ready and thank Him and praise Him and glorify Him in advance because it's going to go down this year. Amazing things are going to happen this year, this season right now. My brothers, my sisters, I just came. Mm, it is something the Holy Spirit is moving right now in this room right now. And it's telling me right now today, be calm, my brothers, my sisters. Something amazing about to come in y'all way. I don't know what it is, but something amazing is about to come your way because you are so faithful, obedient, and you're being a faithful servant. He knows exactly where you at right now today. He knows how long you've been in your situation. He knows how long that you've been in your circumstances. He knows how long that you've been facing on your problems. But in the midst of all of that, you've been thanking him. You've been praising him. You've been glorifying him. You've been seeking him in this kingdom mention every day. You've been putting your faith, your trust, and hope in him. And that's why your situation is going to change this year this season and it really is my sisters and my brothers that's why i'm always encouraging every last one y'all that praise is always necessary no matter what we go through no matter what we face praise is always always necessary give him the thanks and praise and glory each and every day because he deserves it all amen amen god is good all the time and all the time god is good excuse me amen Amen. My brothers, my sisters, Minister LT is so thankful for today that y'all guys take y'all time out out of y'all busy schedule to always listen to another word and listen to another message that's coming from my Heavenly Father God. I can't thank y'all guys enough for being so faithful to God's ministry and to me. Thank y'all for allowing me to be in y'all life and y'all path. And I want to say thank y'all for being in my life and path as well. And I know for a fact that God is doing something new and amazing in y'all life right now today. He is providing something new. He's bringing help to y'all. He's bringing healing to y'all, anointing the living to y'all because of your faithfulness, because of your obedience, my brothers and sisters. And I just want to let y'all know I can't thank y'all guys enough. Y'all could have did anything else today. You could have been watching anything on TV today. But y'all chose Jesus' YouTube channel. Y'all chose and allowed me to continue to minister to y'all each and every day. And I just can't thank y'all guys enough. Words can't even explain how happy and grateful and honored and blessed I am for every last one of y'all. Amen? Amen. Is there anyone out there in the world today that has not yet asked Jesus to come into their life? And right now, you are not saved right now, but you're ready to get saved. You're ready to ask Jesus to come into your life. Right now, today, I encourage you right now today, just to head to the altar right now today. Or just to go in your room, wherever you is right now today. And the reason why I'm always saying this, my sisters and my brothers, tomorrow's not promised to nobody. Next week is not promised to nobody. Next month is not promised to nobody. Next year is not promised to nobody. There's a lot of people right now that are hanging on by their life right now, hanging on by a thread, don't even know they had the opportunity to ask Jesus to come to their life. Someone right now not even 100% sure 
what's going to happen. Because they are fighting each and every day, holding on. Amen? Amen. There's a lot of people right now don't even have a chance or opportunity anymore because they're dead and gone. My point is, you need to make that obligation right now today. You can't focus on what people might think or say about you. You can't worry about the haters. You can't worry about the naysayers. You got to make that change. You got to make that opportunity for yourself. If you are not 100% sure where you're going to end up at. And if you know that you're not saved, that you're ready to be saved right now, that you're ready to have that relationship and a connection with Jesus, you need to head to the altar right now today. Do not be fidgeting your toes. Don't be looking around from side to side. Go ahead and move. Make that move right now today. Jesus has his arms open right now, ready for you. He is ready for you right now today. Please come home right now. There are so many lost souls out there in the world today. It don't make no sense. I'm not here to build a church. I'm here to help lost souls who don't know Jesus, want to have that relationship with Jesus. And if you're not saved right now, it's a day to get saved right now in Jesus' mighty holy name. And all you guys say is, Lord Jesus, today is the day that I'm asking you to come into my life to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, Right then and there, you're saved. You're born again. You had just accepted the Holy Spirit in your life right now today. And I just want to say congratulations to all my brothers and all my sisters right now today who just got saved right now today, who just accepted Jesus in their life right now today. I want to say that is the most important thing that you just made right now today. You made the most important decision of your life right now. You don't need realize how how grateful and how honored and blessed that you are right now today. The angels are in heaven right now, are rejoicing right now because you have just made that move. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. <coughs> Excuse my brother, sister. <coughs> my brother, my sister, I was just downstairs um, a while ago, my wife and I, eating our Sunday dinner and this. This sitting back and this watching some ball games. You know, it's Sunday, you know, football games are always on. And as the football game was on, I felt myself in a deep space. And my wife asked me, she's like, what is wrong? What, is you, what's you, what are you thinking about? I say, sweetheart, everything that we're going through, everything that we're facing, one day our story is going to change. And she said, what do you mean by that? I said, look where we at right now. Look how far we don't came. And right now, people still sleeping on this ministry. People still sleeping on me. People still not giving this ministry the credit or the recognition they deserve. But I say, I know one day, as long as I know God is for me, who else can be against me? I say, I know one day, everything is going to change. This story is going to turn around. Because look where I came from. Look where I am right now today. It was Jesus who was watching over me and protecting me when I was out there in them streets. I could have been dead a long time ago. But it was him who was watching over me. Who was protecting me the whole time. Shielding me and he touched my heart. And he blessed me with his ministry. Because he knows my heart. Once I gave my heart to him, he gave me what my heart desired. And he know I work hard, so hard in this ministry. Day in and day out. No matter if people looking at it or not looking at it. I work hard continuously. Persistent and consistent. Every day I pour my heart into his ministry every day. My blood, sweat, and tears I pour into this. And I said one day it's going to turn around. One day the same people who's overlooked it. One day the same people who slept on it. One day the same people who wants to scream will be the same people who say, wow, I remember that guy. So I told my wife one day our story going to change. And she said, that's what you want to preach about, don't you? I said, yeah, baby. I said, I got to go upstairs. I said, she said, what about the football game? I said, that football game can wait. Spending time with God and doing what he want me to do, this right here is necessary. This is what I have time for. I don't have time to watch a football game. I got time for God. I always got time for God. I'll never put him secondary. He's always number one in my life. So today's word is, and today's message, and for somebody today, I don't know what somebody's going through, but somebody's going through something right now today. But one day, my brothers, one day, my sisters, whatever you're going through, your story is going to change. It's going to change for the better and the best for you and your family. Amen? Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out 
to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I can't thank you enough for our health today. I can't thank you enough for our strength today. I can't thank you enough for our healing. I can't thank you enough for our deliverance. I can't thank you enough for our breakthrough. I can't thank you enough for our blessing. I can't thank you enough for the open doors. I can't thank you enough for the door that you already closed for us right now today. I can't thank you enough because we know one day that our story is going to change for the better and for the best of us. Because long we have our faith, our trust, and hope in you, God, we know for a fact that our days are numbered. And we know that it's going, one day it's going to turn. One day it's going to change. So, Heavenly Father God, until then, we're going to continue to seek you and praise you and glorify you. But in the midst of all that, I want to let you know right now today that I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I seek you in your kingdom the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bible to Job chapter 14. And we're going to read verse 5. There's Job 14. And we're going to read verse 5. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word today, let the church say amen. Amen. Let's begin. Man's days are determined. You have decreed the number of his months and has set limits he cannot exceed. Job is saying man's days are determined. But why? Because he have a command that one day what he was going through all the hell that he was facing, all the letdowns he was going through, all the hurt, all the shame that he faced and went through in life. Job went through this. And I read this Bible from Genesis to Revelation and Revelation back to Genesis. And there's nobody in this book that I know of went through more trouble, went through more pain, I mean, went through more pain and went through more hell than Job. Job went through this. He went to that man, lost his kids, he lost his house, he lost everything, but he never lost his faith and trust and hope in God, no matter what. His friends turned away from him. His wife did him wrong. Everybody did it wrong. Only thing Job had was God. Only thing Job had was his faith, his trust, and his hope in God, saying one day, no matter what he's going through, that his wife was going to love him again. That one day the same God that blessed him the first time was going to bless him again. That one day he was going to be at his house, going to be around his table and eat with his children and eat with his family. He said, one day it's going to happen. One day my story is going to turn to a glory. And one day somebody's going through this right now today. One day somebody's facing some pain right now today. And you wonder how long you're going to continue to be in that pain. But you already don't made yourself right now say, one day, I'm not going to always be in this pain. One day, I'm not going to always live like this. One day, I'm not going to always going to be struggling. One day, what I'm going through is going to turn to glory. One day, whoever going through a, a, a miscommunication with their family members right now, and you know you won't bother that way, but you're saying one day we all going to be together. One day we all going to be united. One day we all going to be together loving it out, hugging it out, kissing it out, crying it out. Whatever it is, one day it's going to change. One day it's going to happen. And you know because you're determined for it to happen. You have a commitment. You have a command. That would decree mean that you have a command knowing for a fact that one day your story is going to turn to a glory. I don't know who's this word for today. I don't know who's this message for today. But I'm going to tell you something, my brothers and my sisters. Anything that you're going through right now today, anything that you're facing with right now today, any difficulties, any pain, any setbacks, 
any trials or tribulations that you are facing today because I face them as well. I haven't seen my brothers in a while. When I say a while, I haven't seen my brothers in years. I haven't seen my sister in years. I know one day that we're going to see each other because my parents didn't bring us up this way. I knew once both of my parents died, by me being the oldest, I had to man up. There was no more playing games with me anymore. I had to take everything seriously. I had to take God seriously first before I took myself seriously. Once I took him seriously, he knew that I was seriously, so that's why he allowed me. And he led me in his ministry. And I know one day, even though people's overlooking his ministry right now today, I know a lot of people might say, well, nobody never look at it. He don't get a lot of views. He don't get a lot of sus subscribers. They ain't the point. I do everything from my heart. Because I was, if I was doing it for views and doing it for subscribers, I'd have lost a long time ago. God would have been taken away from me. But he know I ain't doing it for that. I'm doing it because this is what he put in me. And once Christ is inside of you, really inside of you, you can't hide who you are. You can't hide what's inside of this heart, my brothers my sisters. One day, people are going to know about this ministry. One day, the same people who overlooked it. One day the same people who slept on it. One day the same people who unsubscribed going to be the same people going to say, I remember that guy. I remember Minister LT. I should overlook that channel but I didn't take it seriously. I unsubscribed one day and I know I shouldn't have done it. But right now I'm going to subscribe again. Because I'm going to tell you why. When God got favor on you, my brothers and my sisters. When God has his hands on you. When God is protecting you, when God is for you and not against you, one day everything that you are going through will turn to your story. And if you don't believe it, turn your Bible to Job 42, verse 10. Everything that Job was going through, everything that Job was facing, all the hardship, all the pain, all people laughing at him, all the ridicule, Everything he said one day is going to turn to glory. And that one day came. Job 42 tells you that one day was determined by Job. And the reason why he had that one day because Job had trust, hope, and faith in God. And as long as you have your trust, hope, and faith in God, one day your story will turn to to a glory. And I don't know who this word for today, but somebody take this message right now today very seriously. You really need to listen to exactly what the word of God is speaking to you. It's not me, it's the Holy Spirit speaking through me for me to tell somebody right now today. Your story is going to change one day because of your trust, your faith, and hope in Him. One day, everything that you've gone through, you're going to sit back, you're going to sit back, and you're going to laugh like, man, look at all the pain. I was going through and look where I'm at right now today. Look at all the suffering I had to deal with, but look where I'm right now today. Look at all the people that bypassed me. Look at all the people that didn't want to help me. Look at all the people that laughed at me. Look at all the people who told me it never going to happen. Look at all the people who say they put me down, but look at my story now. Look at my situation now. Look at my marriage now. Look at my health now. Look at my finances now. Look at my dreams now. Look at it right now because your story is going to turn to a glory, my brothers. Your story is going to turn to glory, my my sisters, it's going to happen. One day, it's going to turn for you. One day, everything is going to be okay. One day, everything, you might be at the bottom right now, but one day, God going to take you right to the top. And one day, that's what I love about what Job is saying, right? He said, man's days are determined. And when you're determined for it to happen, the only, the only way that you can be determined for something to happen, you have to have faith trust and hope and the fourth thing if you have that is assurance if you have that you are determined that one day your story is going to turn to your glory and i believe and declare right now today i don't know who's going through something right now today i don't know what you're in trouble in right now today i don't know what you are facing with right now today i don't know the hardship that you're facing right now today i don't know the pain and the setbacks and the difficult difficulty that you are facing right now today like myself and like joe but one day my brothers one day my sisters our pain our setback our situation is going to turn to our glory because why we're determined that it's going to happen because we have trust because we have faith because we have hope and we have assurance in God. And alone that you have those four ingredients, it's going to turn for you. 
Everybody gonna know everything about your story. Everybody who look past you, look down, you're gonna be right at your table eating with you and celebrate with you. Even though your marriage might be in a situation right now today, but your marriage right now gonna be gonna be glorified. Your health gonna be glorified. Your finance gonna be glorified. Your dreams gonna be glorified. It's gonna happen one day. One day, my brothers. One day, my sisters. Even though the doctors told you that you're never gonna have kids. One day, that same doctor told you that you're going to have kids going to be that same doctor that's going to deliver your children. The same people who told you that your marriage is never going to work, that's going to fail, going to be the same people going to ask you for tips about marriage. The same people who, who looked at, who laughed at you, who ever looked at you, who ever backpassed your dreams that was never going to happen, going to be the same ones that they're going to need motivation from you. One day, it's going to happen. One day, your story is going to change. One day, people are going to need advice from you. One day, people are going to need help from you. One day, your brothers and your sisters are going to say, wow, this was worthwhile. This is what you was doing the whole time. And the whole time, I was talking bad about you. The whole time, I thought that you forgot about me. One day, they're going to see the real truth. One day, the light is going to shine. One day, the picture is going to be painted just the way how God wanted already painted for you. One day, it's going to happen. Get ready to receive your story. Because one day, your story is going to turn to glory. And I believe this year, this is the year, this is the season that you're going to see come to pass. If it happened for Job, it's going to happen for you, my brothers. If it happened for Job, it's going to happen for you, my sisters. If it happened for Job, it's going to happen for Minister LT. I know it is. Because why? We got trust. We got hope. We have faith. And we have assurance in God. And that's why it's going to happen. I believe and declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Get ready to receive your glory because your glory is on the way. Your story is going to change. And it's going to change for the better and the best for you, my brothers and my sisters. Amen? Amen. And if this word and if this message is clearly for you right now today, I want you to give Jesus the thanks right now. I want you to give him the praise right now. I want you to give him the glory right now knowing that your story is going to change because it's going to change. Sooner or later, one day, it's going to turn for you. One day, it's going to happen because you're too determined. Most people in your case would have been walked away a long time ago, but you're still here. And by you still here, that means God is on your side. Most people would have been gave up a long time ago in my situation. They let me know that God is on my side. A lot of people would have been walked away. A lot of people would have been crying. A lot of people would have been complaining, but you're still pressing for Now, one time did Job ever cry about it? He asked why? Why this was happening? Why this was going on? But look what happened to his story. His story turned to a glory at the end. And that's what God is basically telling somebody right now today. That's the whole point of this message. Whatever you're going through right now today, your story always have a glory at the end. Your story has a glory at the end. Get ready because you're about to see it happening. Get ready because you're about to see it come to pass. Amen? Amen. And before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working. Everything got in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. No matter what, your story is about to be glory. This minister LT, I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed in Jesus' holy mighty name. God bless y'all. Amen.